The SNP sought to be the champions of democracy whilst they ignored the result of two referendums. So it might be a surprise to some that in a week when we've had more revelations about the Scottish Government's own lack of financial propriety and literacy, they have called a debate on such themes. But it is not a surprise to me. I think it shows admirable consistency, Mr Deputy Speaker, and also shows a complete lack of self-awareness with a large helping of assumed piety. We did not hire a firm at £10 million to run our testing service, which promptly furloughed its staff. The SNP did. We did not offer firms that offered PPE to NHS Scotland. We did not ignore them. The SNP did. We did not provide guarantees to a company to, uh, to the tune of £5 million per job to be secured. Yes, £5 million per job, and then failed to secure those jobs. The SNP did. We did not secure loans without due diligence. The SNP did. Our National Audit Office did not say that we had no framework for working with private companies and indeed needed to urgently establish one. Audit Scotland did of the Scottish Government. We are not having to replace facing lost public funds from capital budgets. Money is mark to build schools and hospitals, the SNP are. We did not ignore recommendations made by our auditing body, unlike the SNP, who have been criticised for ignoring Audit Scotland's reports of the last three years. And we did not ignore inward investors who wanted to put their own money into Scotland and instead gave preference to another firm who could only do so with public funds. As the media reports this week, if the SNP wants to start gaining some credibility on these matters, I suggest two things. Firstly, they should implement the recommendations of their own scrutiny bodies. They should place information on deals, guarantees and dealings with private companies, including those uh, given to GFG in the public domain. And Secondly, I want them to think about the context in which we are having this debate. This week, we learnt that Scotland has six of the ten places with the highest infection rates in Europe. Yeah. I and my fellow ministers, all comprehensively school educated by the way, will come to this House to be held to account and we will continue to reject the distracting, delusional and divisive debate from the SNP. We will do the responsible thing. We know our duty to the Scottish people and we will always be guided by what is in their interest. And I hope one day the SNP will do the same.